So it's 4.30, way too early for me to be getting up. Well, shouldn't say that, I'd be getting up in about half hour, 40 minutes anyways. But I'm on my way into town because I have a mission for my other job today. I'm going to take the company truck to Bowman so I can get a motor rewound. So I got to be out of Sydney by about 5 and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get to Bowman about 8-ish. Hopefully. That's the plan anyways. So, figured I'd just take you guys along, show you the ride. Well, I've retrieved my horse and the, uh, and the goods from the factory where I work. We're actually going to be driving by it right now. See if I roll down the window here. Kind of dark still yet, but you can see the silos, sugar silos, the libel. There's the uh, bulk loadout bin. The warehouse is just passing by now. Rail car station. Ah, you probably can't see much of that, anyways. Coming up on the loading dock now. And we're up to the railroad tracks. But this is my horse for the day. Not too bad, they give me an 04 Chevy to take a four hour journey in. So, I got 78,121 miles on the clock. And I'm going on an all expense paid trip to the huge metropolis a Bowman. Massive, I tell you. It's like excitement, excitement on the jungle tour today. We got ourselves a monkey meat burger. My coffee cup's full. We're headed out on the road. Well, we made it out on the interstate. Cruising at about 80. It's not raining near as hard as it used to, as it was here a bit ago. But it's uh, raining bad enough. Oh well. Otherwise I could go a little faster here, but I don't know if I dare. I gotta hand it to this pickup. It's pretty awful comfortable. Kind of a nice, I'm a nice pickup for cruising. I'm not a Chevy fan, you know. Well, rides and drives nice, just don't have enough power to fucking save itself, you know? Yeah, I guess maybe I expect a little bit more out of my vehicles. Who knows? I would think the 300 horse would be uh, kind of like the 300 horse that I build. Not the 300 horse that they claim it to be out of the factory. But anyways, so we're going to get on our way over to Beach. Then we'll be over to Belfield. I am not afraid. Oh no. Kenny, someone has to be unafraid. I am someone not afraid. Got to be unafraid, John. To lead I will lead the freak parade. parade. Oh, Somebody's got, got to be unafraid to lead the freak parade. Somebody's got to be unafraid to lead the freak parade. Somebody's got to be unafraid to lead the freak parade. To lead the freak, to lead the freak, to lead the freak parade. Hey! Somebody's got, somebody's got, somebody's got, somebody's got, somebody's got, somebody's got. Somebody's got to be unafraid to lead the freak parade. Somebody's got to be unafraid to lead the freak parade. Somebody's got to be unafraid to lead the freak parade. To lead the freak, to lead the freak, to lead the freak parade. Hey! Lead the freak parade. Somebody's got to be afraid to lead the freak parade. Somebody's got to be afraid to lead the freak parade. To lead the freak, lead the freak, lead the freak parade. Hey! Yay! Yay! And it's some fun for everyone. And on that note, we are now in Bowman. Okay, past the airport. He said it's about two and a half miles out on the south side. Uh, 
uh, it's a big green building, and I see a big green building right there. That looks like it might be it. By goshness, goshness, goshness. And I'll be a son of a gun if that isn't it. I see Prairie Mountain Electric on there. So here we are. Apparently they moved since the last time I was up here. Well. There we are. Let's get this motor unloaded. See how long it's going to take to get it rewound. Hopefully I won't have to stay in town overnight. Well, I just got me some breakfast. I had a great big old omelet and hash browns at Jabber's in Bowman. The only restaurant in Bowman. <laughs> Other than your fast food joints, I guess they got a tasty freeze. Woohoo! Quite some living here. And I thought Sydney and Fairview were small. But we're headed back out here. We gotta see what's up with this motor. He told me it'd be an hour or two hours or so. It is now... 901 but we're gonna figure out what's going on to this and figure out if I got to spend the night here or if I'm headed back home but we'll get her figured out well it seems that our electric motor is shot so they got to rewire it he's got a bunch of machine work to do plus he needs me to drive back get him the junction box covers and the uh, brake cover so that he can get that UL listed. He can't do that without that equipment. So, I guess I'm not going to be here this afternoon. I'll be back at the ranch. So, we're just going to head back on through town and we'll mosey our way back on to Sydney. Well, we're on our way back. About an hour or so out of Sydney. But, uh, it looks like about 15 miles out of beach. This is a little bit more what I'm used to as far as scenery. Pretty rough out here. I like it though. I like that flat land. Just feel so vulnerable. Like you're all, like anybody can see, you know, you can see for miles. I like the hills. That's just me though. Everybody's got their thing for sure. You know, but well, it looks like the land management people are out. This is kind of a nice road to drive. Set cruise at 65 and just take the scenery in. It's kind of nice to get away once in a while and see what else is going on. See some other places. Not too much though. I don't like leaving home a whole lot. Every once in a while a guy's got to get out. And this is a pretty nice trip. But we should be back in Sydney in about an hour or so. There it is. It's where I go to work every morning. Well, most mornings. There's the rail car loadout shed, loading docks, and the warehouse, bulk loading shed, and you can see the silos. Those big ones are uh, 198 feet to the top, and that shorter steel one is about 80 feet, and then the other ones are just about 100. Spent yesterday climbing up and down the shorter ones, the 100 foot ones. Because yeah, the man lift to go out. That's why I'm huh, taking this trip today. But we're back now. Just got to drop off my bag in my car. And then we can go in and see if I can get off early. 
been a long day.